Hi friends, welcome to Opa Studies. So this video we are going to focus about merging the changes using the pull request in the GitHub portal. So I hope you have watched my previous video. If not, please watch that. Then only you will understand that. So in our previous video, we have created a branch called Mahir, and inside the Mahir branch, we have added some changes. So when we see the main branch, we don't have this file in the main branch. It is available only in the Mahir branch. So to prove that, if I go to the main branch, you won't see the testing.py file. But in the Mahir branch, you see that. So that means uh, assume that we have created this Mahir branch and developed this code uh, called testing.py as part of my product enhancement or the new feature addition to the product. So now how to take these changes into the main branch because that's the usual practice. So we have to have the complete running code in the main branch. So that's from where the deployment will happen to the uh, environment, different environments. So how to do that? So whenever you have any branch with the changes, you will see that compare and pull request button at the top. So you have to hit that. So hit that button. So compare and pull request. So the moment you hit that, it will tell you that, okay, so I am going to take the changes from Mahir branch to the main branch and it is doing the comparison between that two. And you can add a title for that particular uh, PR request or the pull request. So I am saying that testing file got added. That is a title. If you want to add some description to the PR, you can add it. So I will add testing.py file added. Okay, so that's what I can do. And you can see the files changed also. It says that only one file changed, which is testing.py file, and this new line is got added in there. And uh, see, you can see that how many files totally impacted? Only one file. How many commits it is? Only one commit. Commits means number of saves. Okay. So how many persons worked on it? So only one contributed. Okay. So 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 you can validate that changes whatever is there at the bottom here. And once you feel everything is okay, you can actually assign some reviewers also here who can approve this. So right now, this is my personal account. So I don't find anyone here, right? So in real time, uh, people will have their own team members there. So they can assign the other team members as a reviewers there. Okay. Uh, I can also assign to myself. So when I do assign myself, so I can, all, I can my, by myself, I can approve it. Okay. So this is all full fine. So I feel it is good. So what I can do it is I can hit this create pull request to create this pull request. So assume that I am creating a pull request to take the testing.py file from the Mahir branch into the main branch. So that's what that entire pull request means. So you can see right now pull request status, the PR status. I am right now under the PRs are pull request inside my repo and there is one PR which is pending which is in a open state and this is the title of it. This is the description of it, which I just added and all the history, right? What and all it happened and everything. So you can see like uh, Mahir assigned to himself and uh, if you want to uh, require approval, you can add the rules and all. We will discuss this later. So basically somebody in your team will come and navigate to this pull request and they can open the pull request. See right now, this is the pull request. They can open the pull request in that way and they will validate that all the changes here. So once they feel so they can go to here commits and they can see the changes and also they can go to the files also to see what how many what files got changed and everything so they can see everything and finally let's assume everything looks good them so they can simply hit this merge the pull request button to merge it so when i hit this merge the pull request then it is confirming it is asking me to confirm the merge so i am saying yes i am confirming the merge so what it will do it completed the merge. You can see that the status got changed to the merged for the PR. So that means the changes were taken from Mahir branch to the main branch. So once you do that, ideal practice is we can delete that Mahir branch because no longer needed. As I said in my previous video, I create always my future branches or my personal branches to develop something. So once I develop, once I test, everything looks good. I will create a pull request or the merge within the GitHub portal. Once I complete the measure, I uh, merge, I no longer need that branch. So usual practice is to delete that branches. In future, when I have to work on a different new requirement, then I will create one more new branch or one more future branch and the same process continues. So I'm okay to delete this branch. So let me hit this delete the branch. So I am deleted that branch too. So now, once I completed everything, if I go under repo code button 
uh, i can see only one branch now which is main branch and i can also see the testing dot python file came there so when i open the testing dot python file i should also see my code here i hope you guys can see that right so that means i was able to merge the changes using this pr means pull request so you know in, in here myself i assign to myself and i have merged it but in real time we generally assign it to somebody they can review and they can uh, approve that uh, pr request and they can merge the changes into the main branch okay so i hope uh, you got an idea how to create a pr in the github and how to merge them thank you for watching have a nice day